Welcome another week of Bowls Exposed. Here we are, Highway Hotel, Plimpton, Anzac Highway, APL night, Jess. Yes, APL night. exciting night in the Bowls calendar for Bowls yeah. Australia, so looking forward to it. Yep, so Brendan, the boys have been out on the green today. They have, but, yeah. So, mate, a bit of results been happening so far. How are they looking? Yeah, mate, they've uh, played three games so far. They've only won the one, but um, obviously, as you know, tough competition every game. Um, early days, I think they dropped a few early last year and yeah. came back to still make the final, so... Um, yeah, look, I wouldn't give them away yet. Definitely uh, still going to go along. So. so what a night we've got. We've got some of uh, look, some of the well-known bowlers starting to uh, pour in here to the Highway Hotel tonight. Um, also in the show, we caught up with some people down at the Capri Theatre. Capri Theatre. Yes. And, um, Not the no, Capri, Capri Theatre. And Nick Xenophon was down there to um, have a little chat with the volunteers. So we'll get to hear what he has to say to the volunteers. Absolutely. And uh, look, we're looking for some feedback through the show. Evidently, these green shirts are on their way out already. Um, I do have, I must say, I have been on a bit of a diet. So look, we're probably looking for some replacement shirts here. As you can see behind us, we've got a, uh, a green carpet green there, which guys can, uh, during the breaks and adverts and that, they can have a shot and. Um, yeah, it's not a full size rink, but it's definitely still a challenge, isn't it, TJ? Well, absolutely. You can bounce it off the bar, <laughs> off the stairs, into the middle, and you actually win a pint. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, very good. Okay. There you go. So there'll be a lot of people trying that for sure. <laughs> Look, they're about to hit the uh, hit the uh, the screen. Yes. Next to us, so get some of the guys are actually getting up there, ready to uh, to watch the games, mate. And we're going to go across and uh, catch some night hours action in this episode too. So stick around and enjoy the show. TJ, last Friday you were down at the uh, Volunteer Appreciation Day down at Capri and you had a chat with some of the volunteers. Yeah, we did. We caught up with a few people down there. It was good to see so many people down there, particularly the volunteers. You know, and, and really special thanks to Bowls SA for putting that day on. Jess, um, it was really good to catch up with them. Nick Xenophon was there. There was um, a myriad of speeches and presentations. It was great. Also caught up with uh, Camp Quality. So Heather from Camp Quality spoke passionately about what they do for Camp Quality and how some of the clubs can actually get on board. Cool. So it'd be really good. Let's take, let's yeah. go and have a look let's at that Let's have footage. a look, yeah. Let's go for a wander behind and see who we can catch up with. Here we are with Rena Bradbrook from the Hold Fast Bay Bowling Club. Rena, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Looking forward to the movie? Very much so. Now, the dressmaker, was that a, was this film from years ago? I wouldn't have any idea. I just saw it coming on now. Rena, <laughs> I was going to have a crack about the era. <laughs> Dean Creswell, President of Clarence Guns, here at the Volunteers Day. Dean, what a fantastic event, mate. How are you going? Very good, TJ. Yeah, really appreciating the, what Bowls SA do for the volunteers and come along to these regularly each year. And, Gives me a chance to catch up with everyone around the Bowls community. I think he was on the panel last year, mate. Have you been watching the show this season? Well, I have, but I didn't realise there was a height restriction this year. That's why I got bumped. <laughs> so here I am with Sue and Deidre from Hold Fast Bay. Another one, we just had Rena Bradbrook on the show. Oh, you were lucky, weren't you? Absolutely. We're going, we're going at the top shelf at the moment. Go to the top. That's Absolutely. good. Clarence Gardens renowned for the best greens in Adelaide and I think you've modernised one of your greens recently. Yeah, last year TJ, it was a matter of saving water and looking at the financial sustainability of the club. Uh, we put in a synthetic green. Everyone that uses the green think it, thinks it's a really good green. So Dickie, mate, paint them. Coming off a bit of another cracker. Yeah. I've noticed you, uh, you met one team's firing up. Yes, they're going very well at this stage. Yeah. Had a good win against Rosewater last week. Uh, but uh, overall, the club's going well. Massive night owl nights, uh, lots of social functions. Look at the book down. Yes, yeah, we're all three greens full. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, welcome today. Thank you very looking much. For, looking forward to the movie? But yes, we are. It's had a good review. Has it? Well, there yeah. you go. Thumbs up from Deidre. Yeah. Bowl's going all right this year? Very well, thank you. Do you know that? Well, I do know that. <laughs> I actually, you can actually hear my friend on the green. We played against him last weekend. We very did, loud yeah. and vocal. Okay, thank you very <laughs> Thanks, much. Guys. Cheers. So here we're joined with um, Jackie Kelly, current president of Bowls SA. John, past president, so good to come along. Thanks very much. Jackie, thanks for a lovely day, putting it on. Oh, I think it's fantastic actually to be here and recognising our volunteers and, and everybody else. And we've got some exciting things going on, which we'll find out when we go into the theatre. I actually think it will be fabulous. It's um, on a rating, I'd say 7 out of 10. Um, and I just 
had to say the highlight of the movie would be the fact that Liam uh, Hemsworth takes his shirt off. There you go. Very that extra. gave it five points. That gave it an extra five. Are you happy where you see the game at the moment? Very happy. Yeah, the progress we're making is is great, and uh, the effort that the boys are putting in with the APL with. Uh, Keeping South Australia well and truly in front of the whole of Australia, I think is very important. Thanks for coming along today. Thanks very much, Cheers. TJ. Bye. That's some great footage there, and uh, later in the show we'll be able to go back and look at. Uh, we've got Matt managed to catch up with Nick Zanifon. Um, so, but for now we're going to. Uh, grab some people in from the audience and uh, have a chat about the upcoming APL. Yeah, we'll also get some thoughts from people that actually saw the movie and what they thought of that movie as well. Yep. No, I know no. my wife was there and she loved it. It was a great movie and, and I'll tell you what, she'll probably go back and watch it again. There you go. I know that um, you and Dean Creswell got nice and close during the movie as well. Did he? Just loved it. <laughs> I've never had a bigger hug from Dean in my life. I used to play with Dean and uh, it's good to get that man laugh. Absolutely. We've got the man Mo happening for Movember so uh, yeah. it all fits in. It does. <laughs> Hello. We have ventured deep into the untouched terrain of the Adelaide Hills, hoping we are lucky enough to stumble across the most unique and interesting creature. Ah, yes. I think we found some. Okay, so we've stumbled across quite a large number of these creatures. So let's see if we can coax them over towards us with some nuts and berries. Or can I tempt you with some nuts and berries? Yes. I'm going to say Excellent. no to a nut. Excellent. Once one of the quirkier members of the species has taken a nut, Others will follow. Good sustenance for any bowler. Mm. It is easy to distinguish the leader of the tribe as he has developed a claw which is detachable from his arm. He uses it to swing his balls. The leaders will often assert their authority by yelling orders at the lower members of the tribe. Pick it up. Come on, Rob, pick it up. Pick it up. Rob, pick it up. Pick it up. When the male of the species is not standing holding its chin, it often tells stories such as when it made a canoe out of a very small log and paddled it down the river. It is a rare and beautiful moment among these species to capture a kiss. However, it is more common to witness the act of dumping. Over the centuries, this tribe has developed a number of tribal dances, including Back Me Up and Batter My Ear, Throw Away the Babies, Polish My Shiner, I'm gonna grab you here and tickle you there. Rushing the lazy chicken. And of course, warming the soup. So apart from a few nervous moments, I am now able to roam freely among the tribe. It's been a privilege to experience. In the coming weeks, I'll be visiting the Riverland, where I hope to make another rare discovery. Well, here we are, we've dragged, uh, we're starting to drag some of the people out of the crowd and joined us today, he's actually a close friend of mine, Ray Bryant. We had the coaxing couple of beers in, Ray, thanks for joining us. No worries, TJ. Look, one of the things is, and I think, you know, very, very unassuming individual is Ray, but very accomplished runner. So I thought, why not grab him up here, have a chat to him. We've always taught Ray about transitioning from a, a major sport that you're playing, whether it's football, cricket, or in your case, running, to the game of lawn bowls because it's got some traditions behind it where people think old men or work, women in whites. So what attracted you to the game and what do you get out of it? Oh, it's a hard question. Uh, look, I think if you've played any competitive sport, you, it's something that you've really enjoyed from that whole team environment sort of thing. 
And often as we probably move on through life and you have kids and study and all that sort of stuff, I think sometimes you drop out of it, which was my case. Um, and I think Lawn Bowls gives you a way of sort of coming back into that. And, um, and I don't think you ever lose that competitive spirit and want to want to win. Yeah. So that's definitely yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. So for those, Jess, um, Ray actually went back to back winner of the City Bay. Wow. And then had a, had a year where he sort of thought he'd come into place and then <laughs> came back again the year after that and won it again. So that's, yeah, that's a major wins. feat. That's a major, major accomplishment. For me, it's like Thank a marathon. Yeah. I, I, I personally couldn't run that far. <laughs> no. Actually, I catch taxis for less distance than that. So I'm in awe yeah. anyway. Yeah. Well, I catch taxis now, I can tell you. So, <laughs> so from a competitive look, and anyone that knows um, knows obviously the, the Wolf Pack and we play there on yep. the weekends, Ray's an integral part of that. So, Ray, you're ultra competitive in everything you do. And we know that. So what drives that competitiveness with you? Um, look, my wife will tell you that uh, I think it drives her a bit mad. I'm just one of those people, like a lot of sports people, that I just can't do something just for fun. So mm -hmm. no matter what it is, whether it's marbles or lawn bowls or running, I want to be as the best I can be. Yep. So that's definitely what drives me. Yep. Um, and I think with lawn bowls, age is not really a predicament so or an a impediment. So you can... Um, you can keep pushing to try and improve all the time. Yeah. That's one of the great things about lawn bowls. I know that Ray tried to take up eight eight ball, and he's been he's been beaten up in Wyala, <laughs> Fort Augusta, <laughs> Glenelg. <laughs> 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 we start Morpherville. We start running off those venues. But uh, with these lawn bowls, yeah, mate, you're having a cracking year. So, mate, you're, you're playing for uh, Nathan Pedersen at the moment. Yeah, street. it's a bit sad that Nathan's um, moving into state, so um, we've got to find someone to fill in. I, I was fortunate enough um, with Taylor's Cup the other day to be able to lead for um, for Millsy, for Craig Mills, yep. and um, being able to see these just fantastic players yep. so close up, you just realise how much you need to keep improving. Mm -hmm. So um, so that drives me a bit as well. Mm -hmm. Well, mate, look, thanks for joining us up here on the couch, and mate, I hope you have a great uh, rest of the season. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Is, it, is the mic on? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're oh, still okay. on. Tell us a bit about how the Capri Theatre started. Yeah, sure. So the Capri was built in 1941, which was during the war. It was used for all of the newsreels when the war was running. And, uh, but then now it's owned by the Theatre Organ Society, so it's not for profit. We're run by volunteers, we're owned by volunteers as well. And all of the staff that you see here are giving their time for free. So what was the uh, what was the movie like? It was interesting. Yeah. It was humorous. It was corny. <laughs> we enjoyed, oh, enjoyed it. it. Yeah, yeah, it was different. Different. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't what we were expecting. So Nick, what role do you feel Bowles plays in the community? Hey, do I call you Albert or Uncle Albert? What do I call you? Oh, just Albert. Albert. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, so we're here with Heather from Camp Quality. Heather, tell us about today's event. Oh, it's a fantastic event. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to all celebrate the many, many hours that people give for volunteering. I mean, organisations such as ours and Bold SA would not be able to exist without the many hours, which is um, just invaluable, invaluable. And it's great to give back to them and you know, see them, meet them and say thanks. No, I enjoyed the whole lot of it. So It's a great review then. Usually I look at my uh, watch and say, oh, is it boring? But never looked at my watch. So what was the last sport you did play if it wasn't bowls? It was billiards. I'm, I'm actually a sports tragic. Tragically, I know nothing about sports. I remember I'm still traumatised by the fact when I was in the under 12 D grade footy team at school. I trained all season, worked my guts out, and at the and they put me on the field for about two seconds because I was so hopeless, and they made me orange boy for the rest of the game. So that's <laughs> I'm a good orange boy. That's about, that's my sporting <laughs> prowess. Yeah. So you got better hope bowling. Uh, I think so, I yeah. think so. But I haven't even had orange boy in bowls yet. Is there an orange boy for bowls or not? I think there will be now. There will be now, <laughs> that's my job, orange boy. It was exquisitely done and it was a mix of everything. So yeah. um, this is a new venture for us, partnering with Bowls SA and I'm really excited about it because I love their ethos. I was amazed when I found out they were all run, all the clubs were run by volunteers, I didn't know that. And do you bowl yourself? I have tried. I am very bad at it. <laughs> and what I love about bowls uh, and bowls SA, or as someone called it at the function today, bowlser, uh, <laughs> bowls SA, is that it's such an inclusive sport. It doesn't matter what age you are, whether you have a disability or not. Um, it actually caters for people with disabilities. It's inclusive. It involves this great sense of community spirit, and that's the great thing about 
being part of Bowls SA. So uh, it, it's just, and it keeps you fit. Chatting with Max here, Volunteer of the Year. So yeah. first of all, congratulations, Max. Thank you. Yeah. So what does it mean to you to be a volunteer? Uh, it means a great thing to me. As, uh, I've been with Port and Lunga Bowling Club for uh, uh, nearly 30 years. So we, we, we have a little Woody Allen quiz. Uh-oh. You know I quoted Woody Allen in my first speech in the Senate. You know well, well, it might be one of the answers to the question, so hold okay. on to that. All right. And we'll see, if, uh, see how you go yeah, with this. Sure. Do you think we can get some bowls competitions in camp quality, perhaps? Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Um, I know we've done some bowling with the kids. Um, and with our family camps, we take the whole families away on camp. And they've had a bowls night or two. Everybody loves it. Anybody can do it. And with our kids too, it doesn't matter what disability they have, they're all able to take part, which is a really big thing. So you ready to go? Yep. Okay. So, join the army, see the world, meet interesting people, and kill them. Boy, oh boy, that was it. Been a retired builder and done a lot of renovations to the club. All right, we'll try this one. Um, it's not that I'm afraid to die, I just don't want to be there when it happens. Oh my God. And uh, the Greens, and I've been on the board for uh, the last eight years straight, and this year will be my last year. Okay, you're going to know Somebody this Somebody else, I don't know any Sorry. of these movies. That's right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this one, give me the next line, all right? Boy, the food at this place is really terrible. And in such small portions. Yeah, yeah, I'm 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 uh, and this last one. <laughs> yeah, this last one. Okay. Having sex is like playing bridge. I've never played bridge. Does that mean I've never had sex? <laughs> uh, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, oh, everything you want to know about sex. Is that the one? Which one was it? Now you've got to finish the quote. I don't know. No. If Tell me. If you don't have a good partner, you better have a good hand. <laughs> it's terrible. This is, what rating is this? Is this like MA or what? Do you have a rating C on this? We will now. You will? Yeah. Oh, it's just gone to a late night time slot. I think so. Okay, well thanks very much, Dee. Appreciate your time. You can shake hands. You've been talking about hands before. No, that's right. Okay. Don't no, no, do a close up of the hands. No, no, that's it. That's it. Great. Thanks for being here at right. the event. Thanks for supporting uh, Okay, it's you a know, great organisation, but yeah. you know, don't ask about Woody Allen movies, it's too. Yeah. Not these old, miserable ones. Yeah. Yeah, like bridge and hands and sex. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, okay. Mate. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Can I go now? You can go now. Yeah. All right. Great footage. Nick Xenophon. Spent a lot of time with Nick over the time. He gives us here at Bowls SA a lot of time, supports us and really behind the game and, and he's done a lot obviously for the uh, quality bowls on a Saturday and of course Jess you take full advantage of that which I is do. great. Yes. You know? I did, did I tell you, I actually don't like playing out women and Sandy Wallace knows that. You know why I don't like playing out women? Because they're better than you? Absolutely. <laughs> Every time better than me. I've got no problem admitting that. Look the other thing is that uh, Greg from Camp Quality caught up with him. Brandon we're talking about off camera. He rode a poster scooter with his mates dressed as a superhero from Perth to Sydney. Wow, that's a long way, mate. That's a great effort. Yeah. It's dedication. I could probably even get our mail delivered to McLaren Mail because it takes a longer than that to get it to here. So. <laughs> Sensational. Let's go and have a look at that. Joined the Greg Campbell from Camp Quality. Greg's famous. I am. He uh, couldn't afford the airfare from Perth to Sydney, so he decided to uh, ride a postie bike. Yeah, we recently, a few months ago, uh, myself and a few of my clients from uh, from my business uh, decided to try and raise some money for Camp Quality. So we. Uh, we, we drove, I think it was uh, five posty bikes over to Perth and then um, on, on trailers and then hopped on the bikes and cruised across. It took us 13 and a half, 14 days. Um, stopping on the side of the road, um, just camping out and stuff like that, but we managed to raise about 40 grand. 40, 40 grand for camp. Fantastic, for camp mate. 40 grand and, and all the worthy And course. it was really good fun. Um, I've been involved for about 17 years. Brilliant. Um, and it's just so much fun. So much fun. Um, and I don't know where this video is going, but. Uh, just, a, just a sort of a shout out. What Camp Quality really do have trouble um, organising is male volunteers. So, uh, yeah, um, they never seem to have any trouble getting female volleys, but um, yeah, male volunteers. So, if there's any males out there that are sort of looking to uh, to get on board with a worthwhile charity, yeah, that'd be wicked. There you go, Greg. Thank you very much. Cool. Nice to meet you. Let's head on down to Asco Park to check out the night owls action.
Okay, so it's a little bit windy here down at Ascot Park Night Hours, but uh, it's a great turnout, so let's go chat to some of the players. Good, so how's your bowling been going tonight? Not that great. Okay, a bit rusty. Haven't really played for a few months, but no, going good. It's a nice night, actually. It's really nice. It's a great turnout tonight. Yeah, yeah, it is for a first night out. The three boys here all went to school together at Sacred Heart. Yep. Um, and I know the boys external from that, so yeah. It's a good, uh, good catch up throughout the week. Yeah, I haven't played for a few years now, so just back starting tonight after about probably three years, I'd say. Yeah, about the same height last year off, so. Yeah. yeah. So have you been bowling well tonight? Not really. This <laughs> 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 second week. Oh, this is, okay. <laughs> My minute. husband um, has had been playing, and Sandra's husband has played pennant. Yeah. But um, we, we thought we'd just form a little team. Oh, yeah, so we've right. got all these men here, they're all helping us. <laughs> yeah, Are they any good? Yeah, uh, they're, they're good, all right. they're quite yeah, good to talk to. <laughs> they're helping us, they're telling us what to do and, and that, so. Yeah, played a bit in high school and then uh, yeah, got the call up tonight, it was a bit of a fill in, so. Well, we go to uni at Flinders, so we thought it'd be a great way to socialise with our friends and yeah, meet new people, so yeah. This is it the first time you bowl? Yep, it is. Yeah. So you enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. You're bowling well, are you a natural? No, no I wouldn't be. No. <laughs> you got your friends up here somewhere? Yep, they're all up there. <laughs> Up there. Say hello. And they're bowling better than you, are they? Or? Yeah, they sure are. <laughs> yeah. So wh why are you sitting on the bench? Uh, well, we're waiting for our turn. We've got to go to the other end now. Right, OK, OK. So, but yeah. this wind is a bit tricky. We yeah. just don't exactly know how to bowl for the wind. That's not the excuse, is it? Or? Well, it is, actually, because <laughs> that's our excuse. Yeah. We it's haven't been bowling. So, so if you get the wrong bias, it goes completely the other direction, it's the wind, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every yeah. time, yeah. every time. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, thanks for continuing to watch. Here we are with Ian Bordermiller. Bordermiller, thanks for joining us today, mate. Ple so, pleasure, CJ and Jess. So, Bord, mate, we'll start off with, you've moved uh, You've moved across to Turak, uh, not this season, season before, so you're in your second season there, mate. How's that going down there at Turak? It's going very well. Um, up until last week, we were top, top of the tree after four games. Um, we had a slip up on... Saturday by a few shots. You're going to be playing this at uh, Region 10? Yes, yes, so I got a phone call yesterday saying that I've been selected as one of the nine for this region, for the new region to play at Moonter in about four weeks time. Is that in the Prestige Medley, is it? That's Prestige Medley, Jess. Beautiful, great. It'll be a good experience for you. Um, very played happy. it a few times before. Played a few times? Yeah. So, Buddha, we've spoken quite heavily over the last couple of episodes about what is the best competition for the game? Yes. Do you think the current format in its existing presence is the best for our game? Or do you think more of a standardised, get in a competition away from what we do now, where we have three by four, best players through a region, similar from a region 10 with a country involved, and that be the pathway through to that elite level of bowls? Yeah, I think fours, fours to some ways is outdated. I think 12 aside, I've always been a supporter of that I believe that's the way the future of our bowls for the state side and that's got to go. Mm -hmm. That's how the eastern states in New South Wales and probably Queensland play it now. Hey, well, Buddha, what's your prediction for the APL, mate? I'll wait and see, but it doesn't look like they've had a very good start to the day so far. They've won one out of the three, well, they showed before, so we'll wait and see, but I'd like to see them definitely a semi-final stage or so, and absolutely. anything can happen once you get there, as we know. Yes. Absolutely. Mm. Well, thanks for joining us today, mate. Pleasure, TJ. Cheers. And Jess, thank, thank you, you very much. Oh, that's coming oh, in. Oh, it's coming in nicely. Oh. Oh. And look, hey, what a way to end the show, eh? Resting touch it. What a great night. What a great night has been. Hey, and we look forward to it again this time next year when the APL goes again, APL 4. Will it be in the Gold Coast? Maybe somewhere else. Who knows? Until then, we'll catch you next week.